response to the lockdown, the National Treasury set up a COVID-19 loan guarantee scheme to help ease pressures off of businesses who've been affected negatively due to the low economic activity. However, the loan scheme has recently been reviewed in order to make funds easier to access for qualifying businesses. Here to share more insights on the COVID-19 loan scheme, phase two is Jesse Weinberg, head of SME at FNB Business. Welcome to The Loft, Jesse. Hi, right, thanks for having me. Now, JC, can you please give us a brief explanation on what the second phase of the COVID-19 loan guarantee scheme is? Yeah, certainly. So the COVID-19 loan scheme phase two is effectively an expansion of the COVID-19 loan scheme that we launched in phase one. So the new scheme will replace the previous offering, taking on new applications, but the existing loans granted under the first phase will run concurrently with phase two. And there have been a couple changes which have been made to the loan scheme in response to many of the learnings and the feedback um, that, were, that were obviously experienced and, and gathered as a result of going live with the first part or the first phase of the loan scheme. Mm. And then, Jesse, what is then the difference between the initial phase one of the COVID loan scheme and the updated second phase? Sure. So, so I guess the, the biggest difference is really in the, well, there's a couple of differences, but one of the biggest ones is that in the first phase, it was limited to businesses that were turning over um, up to 300 million rand. Mm. Um, so there's now no maximum, uh, there's no turnover that's basically, um, that's been put in place, turnover limit. Um, there, there was no maximum loan amount also stipulated in the first phase. Uh, the loan was paid out over three months. Mm. Um, the three-month payment break after the last payout was when the repayment basically began. Um, and... Uh, Essentially, now with the new scheme, it's available to all businesses regardless of turnover. So mm. that doesn't include listed entities or state-owned enterprises or government institutions. Um, the maximum loan account is 100 million rand now. The loan is paid out uh, between or over a period of three to six months, depending on the on the financial provider. Um, and there is up to a six-month payment break after the, lo the last payout of the loan. So, for example, if the, the loan is paid out over or drawn down over three months, um, plus an additional then six months holiday, then the repayment period will only actually, the first repayment will only be due um, in month 10. So wow. the bank requires a, a signed expense template, of course, and may require then proof of operating expenses. But I guess, sure, the biggest difference now is really that um, there's no turnover requirement um, and there is a maximum loan amount that is, is now in place. And, um, yeah, and just these changes to the payouts and the timings around the, the payment breaks. Why has F&B introduced such a relief and what types of businesses qualify for the loan scheme? So the, obviously as, as F&B and together with the other participating, um, together with other participating banks, I mean, this is really around that we've, we've got many clients and many SMEs and businesses in this country which are, uh, struggling with cash flow at the moment as a result of the lockdown. So really what what the scheme was, what it is put in place to achieve is really to provide some sort of financial reprieve under these very mm -hmm. different circumstances mm -hmm. than what the country's ever experienced before. So it is a, it's a very different construct as to what loans or banks would usually give in terms of loans and making provision for these periods of time where the business might not have cash flow coming in for let's say, these months ahead. Um, initially, when we did this, it was a three-month period that we envisaged you know, at the time. And obviously, lockdown has still been extended in certain, in, you know, to many industries. Um, and so we've had to adjust accordingly. And really, this is about helping businesses with cash flow and specifically to help them pick up the costs of more of their operating expenses, so their fixed expenses, um, in a time where they're not necessarily earning uh, much cash flow. Mm. Uh, so the types of businesses that would qualify for, for the COVID-19 loan scheme so in phase two is businesses which are in good standing with your bank. So this is still a requirement. So where, for example, there shouldn't be any arrears uh, with the bank or judgments and there needs to be a good credit record in place. But the businesses need to be registered with, with SARS, so the South African Revenue Service, um, and can provide proof of tax registration. Mm. They need to be registered with SIPC. So where that's applicable, obviously sole proprietors won't be uh, registered necessarily with SIPC. Uh, they, the, the businesses are then also required, um, well, if they're requiring the loan to pay for specific operating costs. So these could include, for example, salaries, rental payments, lease payments, utilities, and other operational expenses in the business. Um, and specifically where the business does not have the capacity to apply for traditional business loans, 
this is this is something where ideally you know a business could look at um, could qualify obviously so definitely the application. And then Jesse, how does one apply for this relief and where can customers go for more information? Sure. So obviously the, one of the best ways with us at FNB is to jump onto either our website or to go to FNB app. If you navigate to, to the COVID-19 icon on the FNB app, which is also where you can apply for, for all sorts of um, assistance, but then we've also put together the business toolkit, which is a fantastic set of resources aimed at helping business navigate uh, this challenging time. So it includes mm -hmm. interactive uh, so tools and videos, and it's a great resource in the same place to, to use as a, as a business in this time. And it's also our business desk, which is, which is open, our, our uh, telephone business desk. Uh, the operating hours are all listed on our, on our website, but it's usually from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday to Sunday. Um, or, of course, businesses can speak to their banker at FNB. Um, but, yeah, between those channels, I mean, all of the information is, is, uh, should be readily available. Thank you so much, Jesse. South Africa, that is the head of SME Business at FNB, Jesse Weinberg, who's giving us all the relief that many businesses need right now. Thank you so much, Jesse. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for having me. For more information on the COVID-19 loan scheme relief, you can visit the FNB app or the FNB website at www.fnb.co.za. When you order your groceries and get them delivered, you upgrade more jobs. Ah.